What's good guys, Alex here. Today I'm gonna showcase a couple of invoke combos featuring new cards including this card, Shadow's Light. Now I do think this card does have potential to be like extremely crazy in the future. It's only good now, it's not like broken or anything. But this card does summon a monster from deck, so you know, it definitely possess a powerful effect. And it has the potential to be shining more um, in better decks in the future. For now, we're gonna try it and invoke. I think there are like a couple of cute things you can do um, and invoke with this card. And let me show you real quick. So we're gonna start with, you know, normal summon Alistair, grab invocation, the typical stuff. We're gonna activate it, target Alistair, summon Quim from deck. It's a light spellcaster. Quim gonna send Cartesia. We're gonna link into Artemis. And because of that, we can revive um, Cartesia, link into Cross Sheep, activate uh, invocation, summon Makaba. And with that, we're gonna revive Quim with Cross Sheep effect. Add Alistair back to hand and we're gonna use the graveyard effect of um, Shadow's Light to normal summon Alistair once again. Grab another invocation, um, fusion with Cartesia into Dusk Dragon. Dusk Dragon will send um, Titanic Light to the graveyard. We're gonna activate invocation once more. Titanic Light will trigger in the end phase and uh, we're gonna summon Ecclesia. We're gonna grab uh, Flood Release and we're gonna grab Cartesia with its own effect during the end phase. And this is the end board, we have multiple monster negates with um, Appaloosa, we have a monster pop, a monster negate, and technically an omni negate, although it's more or less a monster slash spell negate, because trap cards, you know, are not many in this deck. And we have follow up, we have Cartesia in hand, and we have Alistair uh, banished with an invocation in the graveyard, so we can fetch it from the banished pile um, with the on invocation effect next turn. So I honestly think this is really solid for two card combo, like you basically have the same two cards in hand as the as you started with like you started with Alistair Shadow Light and you're gonna end technically on Alistair plus Cartesia in hand with like six interruptions basically right so um yeah this is for this combo see you on the next one and next combo next combo um this one is extremely much simpler it features another new card uh, revolution synchron so this card says you know you can use it from the hand as synchro material if you are summoning a level 7 or 8 dragon monster and you can uh, summon it from the graveyard if you control a synchro by sending the top card from a deck to the graveyard it's once per duel um, on the graveyard effect so it's similar to globe ball basically and this card just ha like help increasing the ceiling uh, a tiny bit it's not as crazy as shadow light but um, it definitely also have potential to shine in this deck and I'm gonna show you we're gonna start with uh, Magical Meltdown, we grab Alistair, Alistair Normal Summon, Search Invocation, um, Link or Synchro for uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon Pop, and we're gonna add uh, this card now. A lot of people would here add um, this Colosseum, Theory on this Colosseum, add Regulus, and Regulus can equip uh, what's it called Revolution Synchron because it's a machine and you have an extra army negate on your board Now that's definitely a possibility and I just wanted to show something different so you can add this card summon breaker It's more or less summon limit, but in a field spell form So this card says during main phase one if the current player successfully conducts their third summon of a monster this turn It becomes the end phase of the turn so it just immediately snap into end phase and I think this is like a cool tech, like you don't necessarily have to play this as a main card, but it's definitely worth a slot in the side if you can, like you can search it, right? And if you know you're going against like a crazy combo deck, you can just side it, search it, activate it, and you would have like the end board right here. We're going to see, we're going to have Crystal Wing and we're going to have uh, Makaba. And like just having Makaba, Crystal Wing and this card, I honestly think it's really good, um, especially post side situation. Um, it's also less bricky than playing the Discoliseum thing because both, you know, Discoliseum and by nature, um, you know, Regulus are both dead without uh, Revolution Synchron because you don't really play Machine in this deck aside from technically Makaba, but like, come on, you're not gonna link off Makaba to make Regulus live, that doesn't make sense. So yeah, it's just an option that I wanted to put out there and um, obviously there's a lot of other field spells you can play like Zombie World and whatnot. So it's up to you to choose what you want to play. I just wanted to show off this quick and easy combo. Now, if you like both combos and you want to support the channel, just, you know, a reminder, drop a like, drop a subscribe. It goes a long way in supporting this channel. Peace.